Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Uh, this is uh, Udulongu speaking. Um, I'm the co-founder of Ngu Health. Um, I am also the uh, founder and CEO of um, New Globe Utopia. Um, and today, I wanted to take some time to um, just talk a bit about um, the power of uh, defining or the power to define. Um, an example is, uh, for example, in America, uh, they always make reference to the uh, forefathers and how they wrote the constitution um, and how the constitution was almost like an, like a definition, like a blueprint of how America should operate. And because they were the people to actually define this, um, uh, uh, their impact on the, you know, on the world uh, uh, for a very long period of time um, could be seen. Uh, so the question that I'm trying to ask the audience today is, you know, what would you do if you had the power to define truth? What would you do if you had the power to define the law, right? And what are the implications of this if an individual or a group of individuals or a minority group um, gets this power to define what truth is, gets this power to define what the law is, uh, how does that affect the general society? You know, what are the long term implications of 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 this power being held by a minority group? Um, the reason why I ask this question is because um, I've come to realize that, you know, every sovereign being has the capacity and the ability to define themselves. Every minority group has the ability to define themselves. And, you know, this is a natural law because we can see this around the globe. If you go to different communities, they have different ways of doing things. They have different definitions of, of different things. Uh, they have their different gods, different spiritual systems. And despite the fact that these all seem distinct, um, they are still fundamentally connected so the question i ask is you know if nature's law gives every being their ability to define themselves to define their own rules right then is it the right thing to impose one minority's definitions on the rest of the population Think about that question very, very, very deeply, right? Because if every single being, every single group, family, society, village can define themselves, have their own rules, have their own culture, have their own spirituality, have their own foods, then who, who are you to go and impose your rules, your definitions on them? 